Hello there. Welcome to my views and news. Two new stories for you. First one is about prison break attack on a prison camp in Adamhara region. Dozens of prisoners were freed in this attack. Who attacked the prison? Uh, was the attack carried out by Fano or fighters? Who were the prisoners? The attack happened in an area where there has been fighting for the last few days between Romos and Amharas. Amhara Fano fighters and Romo local armed uh, people reported. Secondly, uh, three days ago, Fano groups claimed to have captured dozens of ENDF soldiers. A video was released. Pro Fano news outlets published that video. I also shared that video. Now, uh, controversy is emerging about this uh, video. Pano's claim is being rejected by several reliable sources. They say that the captured youths shown by Pano uh, shown on video are not ENDF men. Who are they? Why were they captured by Afghan fighters? Where were they captured? Details for you. Firstly, we are the attack on a prison in the Amhara region, a prison camp rather, where uh, dozens of prisoners uh, were imprisoned and they were uh, freed in this attack. Uh, situation is getting worse deteriorating rapidly on North Shore Zone, Romia Special Zone border. North Shore Zone, Amhara, Romia Special Zone, obviously Amhara border. Three to four days, I, I reported about fighting in border areas, the border I mentioned, between Fano fighters and uh, Romo armed locals. Both sides uh, shared conflict claims about this fight. Pro Fano uh, news outlets reported that uh, Ola and Ola backed elements uh, had initiated an attack on Amharas. And uh, OMN and other uh, pro Ola, pro Romo news sources claim that, that uh, it was Fano, Amhara Fano fighters, which launched attack on civilians, or almost civilians. But both sides confirmed the clash between Fano fighters and Romo locals. Clash still ongoing. Uh, in Ifratana Giddim, there was a fighting between the two groups reportedly yesterday. On day before yesterday as well. If Ratana Gidim is in North Shore zone of the Amhara region. It shares border with Romia, uh, a special zone of the Amhara region. And main town center of If Ratana Gidim Vareda is Ataya. Reportedly, clashes uh, erupted in Ataya. Romos live here in large number, Amharas as well. And uh, Fano fighters stormed a prison camp in Ataya a few hours ago and they released prisoners. They're claiming that they released dozens of prisoners who were uh, imprisoned just because of their identity and they were Amharas. Attack on prison confirmed, not being uh, admitted by Vareda or zonal government officials, but it is being confirmed to us that uh, prison camp was attacked by Fano fighters in Ataya a few hours ago. Fighting in this part of the Amhara region uh, uh, should be handled by Ethiopian National Defense Force. ENDF should come between. Oromo locals and Amhara Fano fighters. Because if clashes continue between Oromo local armed farmers, locals and Fano fighters, 
this ethnic violence could expand it could spread in volo it could spread spread towards oromia to border areas of oromia it could have far reaching consequences where is the ethiopian national defense force maybe ndf is not in a position to control the situation that is why uh these clashes have been ongoing for a few days and so far endf has not been able to control this by the way endf launched this operation to clear north shore to push fano out of north shore but what we are seeing is that fano fighters entered shore orbit they entered debrasina they entered atai and there are clashes now between fano fighters and local oromo people so operation is backfiring and we know that endf is under restrictions instructions passed that endf should not use drones air strikes should not be conducted or they should be conducted but with uh, after ensuring that no civilians die because imf is about to visit ethiopia and ethiopia is badly in need of imf bailout package so endf uh, the disadvantage in terms not not at a disadvantage because endf obviously is better equipped more equipped than fano fighters but endf not allowed to deploy all its sources its air assets all its resources its air assets are not being deployed uh, ground forces obviously endf is greater in number but operation seems to be backfiring especially in north shore zone where instead of cleaning clearing the area uh, we are seeing ethnic violence in north shore second of all that this uh, two to three, three days ago fano fighters published a video showing dozens of youths and fano fighters claim that those youths were endf recruits that they had been captured by fano fighters in the amhara region Uh, and it was shown as if it was a big uh, achievement by fano fighters that fano had uh, captured dozens some say hundreds of endf members i showed the video as well none of the captured youths uh, was wearing a military uniform i said that maybe they were they were recruits were recruits or uh, go to their training camps obviously they don't wear uniforms mostly uh, and all of them uh, were youths and the way they looked uh, we thought as if they were really recruits but now several sources have confirmed that those who were captured by fano fighters and showed by fano fighters as endf recruits were not endf recruits government government backed activists are telling another story they say that the youths captured and shown by fano fighters were actually recruited by ethiopian electric supply corporation they are from southern ethiopia from konso zone and uh, the ethiopian uh, power transmission authority recruited these youths to clean a dam that is why they were recruited there and from southern ethiopia they were sent to the amhara region they were stopped at various checkpoints their id cards their passport their identity was confirmed and they were allowed to enter the amhara region they went past dajjan they went past debre morkos when they went past debre morkos fano fighters surrounded them and they were in four buses the four buses were surrounded by fano fighters fano fighters captured them and then their video was shown as if they were members of ethiopian national defense force they were not endf members according to pro ethiopian government activists and some neutral sources as well it seems that they were not endf members why because none of them was shown talking about the regiment the unit the division to which they belong to none of them was shown because in earlier cases of endf members captured by fano 
Why not show them on video and the e &E members would tell about their units, their divisions and they would be clad in military uniforms. But this time only the youths were shown in the custody of one of fighters. None of them spoke. It means that they were not ENDF members. Why was there need for this propaganda? Because propaganda is busted. Pano fighters uh, cannot spread propaganda. If they have released a video, the video is bound to be verified. There was no need to spread this propaganda because ultimately now Pano uh, fighters, the uh, Pano backed news outlets must uh, answer the question. Did Pano groups really know that they were uh, actually recruits, employees of uh, Ethiopian electric uh, uh, transmission, power transmission authority? So, why were they shown as if they were members of Ethiopian National Defense Force? Pano groups should explain. Overall, propaganda is going to hurt whatever Fano is achieving. Their gains could be small, but if they spread propaganda, obviously their credibility will take a serious hit. Thank you for watching.